We all can remember our firsts. What was the first car you drove? First date? First pet you ever owned? First sport you ever played? Of course, this is a video game channel, so what is the very first video game you've ever played? Well, let's narrow it down just a little further. I want to ask you, what's your very first flight simulator game you've ever played? Could it actually be Microsoft Flight Simulator? Or could it be something like Arma 3? Maybe it's actually DCS World. I'll even throw Battlefield in the mix with its flight mechanics. For me, it's actually one that you don't hear too much about, if at all. I don't even remember how I came across it, but I just remember it being a lot of fun. So today I wanna to show you my very first flight simulator game called Rise of Flight. It takes place during the Great War, which is World War I, in case you didn't know, because I know some of you out there are thinking the Great War was World War II, or like my one high school classmate who thought that was the Civil War. Believe me, I wanted to punch them in the face. But anyway, Let's get back into talking about the game, which actually has a lot to offer to this day. With a lot of different missions and scenarios that you can try and even create yourself. Challenging flight mechanics because back in those days, planes were still considered a new thing. So don't start thinking that this is gonna be something like an F-18. And it's actually got some pretty cool looking damage models. It seems like it's not getting any further developments, but that's okay, because you can still play it. And one thing I forgot to mention, it's free to download. Now, you don't get the entire game, you just download the free version, which includes three aircraft. But if you like playing the free version and you want to explore on it even more, you can actually purchase individual aircraft that range between three to ten dollars. They even include bundle packs. So give it a try. Let me know what you think. And as always, enjoy. Okay, so jumping into the main menu here, I realized there's all these rewards that you collect over time depending on what you do. And I clicked on them and they apparently have dates and this is the latest, like this is the first one I got. Uh, basically showing that I have registered the ROF demo on March 1st, 2012. So it's been over 10 years since <laughs> since I've played this game the first time. Wow, that's uh, it's really old. <laughs> it's really old to think about that actually. So I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do a quick mission here. Uh, what do we want to do? We've got, it's cool because it's like this whole little map here. It gives you different scenarios. Do a skirmish. Yeah, we're going to do a skirmish of, uh, Capi? Cape? Capi? I don't know. El Cape? No, that's not. Le Cape. That's it. Very Frenchy. Anyway, uh, do, 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 do. let's do my favorite, Fokker D. And then we're going to go up against, I guess it's, I always thought the camel was like the Americans. It's an American, right? The camel, the camel was, a, I believe, an American aircraft. And that was the competitor against the Fokker D, uh, D1. I, I'm, I could be butchering that. I do apologize if I'm getting it wrong. Please leave it in the comments below if I'm saying it wrong. But uh, whether we're going to keep average, turbulence, we're not going to have any, no wind, uh, Clouds, sure. 1,400 meters uh, time. 2 o'clock, that's fine. Let's go ahead and start the mission. All right. Oh, we're kind of just getting thrown into it. Okay, press P. Okay, cool. So I do remember that you had to make sure you reload your guns. Oh, we're going to definitely hide the HUD here. Perfect. All right, we got triplanes versus biplanes. Let's go. And go for this first guy. Looks like he's coming right towards me. I just put the X right on the dot. Oh, and I already have to reload. <laughs> first bullets and I'm already have to like, I already have to jam. So yeah, you can actually jam your guns. And it could be one or the other, it could be both. Doesn't matter. What's going on here? Oh, I don't even have anything in the belt. Oh, we have to redo this. Something went horribly wrong. Uh, okay, as it turns out, you could even see it. I didn't have bullets in my gun. <laughs> so uh, I must have accidentally clicked on uh, not having anything in there. Look at that. Even when you like load the chamber, a bullet goes in. Uh, when you load your gun, uh, a bullet goes into the chamber. That's, that's pretty cool details. So, all right. Round two. Here we go. Go for this guy right in front of me. Just get a little closer and... Oh, and he just dips right at the end there. Oh, I know I got some damage on his 
Hop left wing and he's smoking a little bit. All right, fight's on. We're gonna go finish him off. Not gonna let him get away. Oh, there goes his wings. That's one down. Yep. Didn't take much to take them out. Oh, I'm taking shots from above? From above. That guy is doing some crazy barrel rolls right there. Is he gonna recover? Y yeah, he, he, he didn't recover. Okay. <laughs> okay, he, he was too ambitious. He, he was too excited when he saw me and was like, oh, I got this, and clearly he did not have it. But that's okay, no big deal. Won't have to worry about him ever again. Now I gotta worry about this guy right in front of me here. Gotta use a lot of rudder. Oh, I think I got some hits off him. Yeah, bottom wing there. Possibly uh, bottom right wing. And if he goes too fast, he could rip that off. Like, he might actually do it here. Ooh, I just jerked around a little too much. Easy, girl, easy. Lost a lot of speed by doing that. Can I catch up to him? He's doing a barrel roll. Oh, did he just stall? He just might have stalled. Yeah, he definitely stalled. All right, next target. Uh, that's friendly right there. Okay. Did we actually take care of them all? Nope, I got friendly fire over here. Or enemy fire. Uh, this could be the last guy right here, actually. Just checking to make sure where that guy was going. My buddy here looks like he could use some help. Oh, that was pretty good. Oh, ripping him a new one. Ripping him a new one. There we go. Fokker D5. Or Fokker D1, actually. Sorry. <laughs> Fuck. That was, uh, that was some pretty uh, neat action right there. I think we're okay. Uh, friendly, friendly, friendly. Yep, I think that's it. So this time, I think... What are we going to choose? We're going to choose this guy. The SE5 versus... Let's do the Albatross D3. Oh. That's right, this one has two machine guns. One's right here, really tucked away in the cockpit. The other one's up top here. Um, back in the day, before they had machine guns in the front, like mounted in uh, behind the propeller, they would have them on the top wing or on the sides because if you shot, they didn't have a way to, um, they didn't know how to prevent having bullets hit the propeller. Uh, the French, I believe, invented one way, and that was basically just putting metal on the propeller. So the bullet could have a high risk of still hitting the propeller, and then all you had to worry about was just little bits of shrapnel just flying in the air, you know, just about two feet in front of your face. So that was terrifying. It wasn't, I think, until Fokker invented the uh, idea. I think it was, I believe it was Fokker himself. He came up with the idea of having uh, it synced up, the, the uh, guns synced up to the propeller so they wouldn't hit the propeller. I believe that's the same for this aircraft too. I'm pretty much, I'm pretty much sure that once they, uh, the Allies took down one of the aircrafts that had the synced up uh, bullets, they ended up like taking that idea and using it on their own planes. Which is, you know, fair. Ow! 
not really paying attention. Too much dogfight. Not enough dogfighting. All right, Mister, do you want to be like that? There you go. Yeah, take that. Let's see if we can get this guy right here. Maybe not. Oh, wait. Do a barrel roll. Just don't rip the wings. Oh, my God. Can he outturn me? Oh, I'm smoking a little. Come on. Get up behind him. Right there. And just a little bit closer. A little bit. Oh, I'm getting shot at from behind. I hear it. I was way behind him. Anyone behind me? Not that I see right now. Come on, climb, 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 climb. Oh my god. The albatross can just simply outperform, I think. Maybe I got him here. Uh, I don't think I hit him. Oh, I'm gonna collide! <laughs> oh my god. I collided with him. <laughs> uh, that's one way of taking him out. I guess I'm the very first pilot to be the first, uh, first Fox 4. Alright, what's the next aircraft to choose from? Oh yeah, let's try this one. The Airco DH-2. What's interesting about this one is uh, the propeller's in the back, right behind the pilot. So he had better field of view. He didn't have a propeller constantly flapping around in front of him. Um, except in the back. And clearly in the back it was a little distracting if you had to look behind him. And then we'll go... Oh. Good one would be... Where is it? Where is it? Oh, this is it. The, the, the Fokker E3. <laughs> the monoplane. I think this will be a good cont uh, competition going right here. Okay, this time we've got the machine gun directly in front of us. What's kind of cool is that you can see the magazines that we have. We have a total of four magazines, one in the gun, three on the deck right here. They actually like made like magazine racks, all out of wood. It's like a lot of weight just to add, just to hold magazines. But this one has the propeller again behind us, which is terrible view. Let's see if we can get this guy right in front of us here. Take a couple of pop shots. Uh, I don't think I hit him. Let's see if we can get his buddy here. Nope. Couldn't get his buddy. Uh, Alright, well, we're in it now. Ooh, do I have someone behind me or someone just... Take some simple pop shots. Oh, but he's getting shot at. Oh, I definitely have someone on my six. I saw those tracers. Hey, there, you little bastard. Woo! Almost took me out. Let's switch. Oh, I definitely got hits on his wing there. I feel like I'm going to have to reload real s soon here. Yep, gotta reload. Oh, no, it was just a jam. Doesn't matter, though, because he ripped his wing off. You fool! Alright, do I have someone still on my six? I do. Oh, you see that wing right there? That's the wing that I ripped off of him. Oh, and there's a pilot right here. But that can still hit me and take me out. <laughs> it's actually pretty... That's happened to me a couple times. And I'm about to hit it. I just saw it again. Alright, coming up on this guy, six. Oh yeah, good hits right there, but I gotta reload, of course. Reload, 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 I can't, I can't, pull up! Gotta lose speed. Oh, he's getting hit now. Pretty good, there he goes. I must have had a friendly on my six. 
finish the deed. Thank you, kind sir. I've got eyes on my next target. Such a weird looking plane. I prefer biplanes and triplanes back in the day. They came out with this plane and it just looks weird to me. I don't know why. Considering the fact that monoplanes are now more the uh, standard. No, he's shooting at my buddy. Oh, I got good hits there. I know I see it. There he goes. Ooh, watch his wing. Oh no, I lost the partner. I hope I didn't shoot at him. He's like almost right in line of where my uh, shots were hitting that guy. Head on collision. Nope. All right, I'm gonna avoid him because I wanna help my buddy out right here. See if I can shoot at him, get him off. Nope, never mind, gotta reload. Nope, nope, it's just the jam. Get off him. Oh no, now I shoot my other buddy. Oh, did he just crash? Oh, he almost hit the trees. I know I hit him. I had to have hit him. I hit his tail, I think. Oh, no, time to reload. Reload, 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 reload. Jammed. Okay, good. I'm riddling him with bullets. There he goes. There he goes. All right. Another splash right there. Any more? Oh, got one right here. This could be the last one right here. Good, I still have a whole nother mag. I'm at treetop level now. Jammed. Reload, good. All right, get a fresh mag in. It's my last mag. Jam. Wow, there's a lot of jams in this gun. Oh, red one that time. Take it off. Oh, don't hit the wing. There you go, guys. Another splash. Right there. Any more? You looking good there, partner? I think we're looking good. I think that might have been all of them. This right here. Another friendly. He's not looking too good there. There you go, guys. Rise of flight. Give it a try. Let me know what you think.